pay attention to this very meeting is getting interested as measures has been put in place in order to go on with the disbursement to pursue the disbursement protests and other measures have been put in place in order to ensure that disbursement come speedily pay attention to this very meeting held on the 17th january 2024 consider to subscribe as we will come your way with the trending issue right now in the grant community kunio's life update capacity all right okay thank you very much secretary thank you very much everybody welcome to this evening's meeting on the 17th this nice meeting is actually meant to target more of a reaction and then um to mobilize to make demand for our money and call a spade a spade previously i had intimated on several locations that there is money there is grant ready to be disbursed but for selfish interest and greed amongst politicians amongst grant handlers and uh, amongst those that are supposed to help us get this disbursement we keep having delay one thing or the other delaying us at this point we are not smiling we want to tell nigerian government we want to tell all all concerned we are not smiling we are not happy let's call a spade a spade how can we have all the technology financial technology we have the money we have the human resources and yet we still cannot get disbursement up till now who wouldn't be angry with such such a such a, a misnomer who wouldn't be angry that things are going wrong for reasons that can't be explained we have the money we have the financial technology we have the human resources to work we have the time we have the space all these resources are available yet we cannot have disbursement why would people get high blood pressure and worry why a nation like Nigeria cannot get things done for once? It all boils down to one thing. They don't really care about us. That's what Michael Jackson was in his own. They don't really care about us. If they cared about us by now, this money would be disbursed. If they really cared. So according to President uh, Bola Metinubu, he said, allow Nigerians to breathe. So how come these people are not allowing us to breathe? We have to tell the president to breathe. They constitute into the CBN governor, Dr. Kasu, uh, 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 Mike Olayemi, Oyelami, Olayemi, sorry, I mean to say, Dr. Oyelami, Apostle Ken Wakam, Apostle Theophilus, uh, 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 all, the central, uh, all the commercial bank managers. Femi Bajabia Mila, right honorable, because he's a part of this, the, 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 he knows about these things. We call their names because they don't care. If they care, by now they should be disbursement. With respect to their position of authority in this country, by now they should have been disbursement. So we call them by their names. How can Nigerians suffer like this? We know since Mr. President stopped and withdrew uh, first subsidy up till now, there's no disbursement. Do they think Nigerians should survive? Do they want Nigerians to breathe? And yet the money is there. And yet the, the financial technology is there. And yet the human resources are there. And yet the space is there. The time is available. And yet we cannot have disbursement. What is going on in this country? How long will we keep continuing like this? What is it about? We are so insatiable in our greed for money. We have money that's ready. UAS money, part of it that is set aside for disbursement is ready. It should be disbursed. There's no need to wait for another grant to be added to it. It can be disbursed the way it is first. Stop punishing Nigerians and punishing Nigerians and punishing Nigerians in the name of sharing money. This is very offensive. It, it, it can't be explained anywhere. There is no scientific 
explanation to what we are, we, are, we are experiencing right now. This is a new year. We are battling for one year, December to last year, December. No disposal. This, this January, it has today is 17th. How many more days before this, this month will run out? And yet we have people in positions of authority. Up till now, we cannot get disbursement. We are saying that these people in this, let me tell you, these people, if, if, if they cared, Nigerians would have had this disbursement. And guess what? None of these people is, is, is really buying fuel by themselves. All the bank managers in this country are being sponsored by their banks, including the CBN. They don't buy their own diesel. They don't buy their own fuel. They probably don't even pay for their own cards at, at, at time and things like that. Because some of these companies dash them some things at that management level. Does Femi Bajabi Amina spend his own money on his fuel? The answer is no. For how many years? These are the people. What of Ken Watama? The money we have contributed as logistics. What of Tofino Solace? The money we've contributed as logistics money. What is going on here? It is time to call a spade a spade and then we get our money. If 48 hours elapses and we do not get disbursement, we are going to put it on paper publicly. And then we will go ahead to do something more than that. Enough is enough in this country. We want Mr. President to know that he should call the CBN governor, Dr. Mike Olayemi, to order. And call to his chief of staff, uh, uh, Bajabia Mila, right honorable to order. And call Ken Wakama to order. And call Tiofilo Solice Boy to order. And call all the bank managers that are in this country to order to disburse this money. That enough is enough. Why wouldn't they allow Nigerians to breathe? What have we done that we should deserve this kind of treatment in this country? Any of them that buy fuel from their own money, let them come out and say that they, that's what they do. Any of them that takes flight and it is not sponsored either by logistics money or by or by their banks, let them come out and tell us their flight tickets. So that is not necessary at this point. So we call Mr. President. We call Mr. President to call these people to order so that we can have our thing we could have our thing and get it done and with speed enough is enough january is going so that the next seven forty sorry 48 hours we need disbursement if they really care let them go and disburse this money for us in the next 48 hours if Femi Bajabia Mila, if you really care listen to if you listen to my voice this is the cry of the masses people are dying People are being checked out of their houses or of, 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 of their homes because they cannot pay rent. School fees have come. No parents are finding it hard to pay. And you people sit down there and not help us. If you people really care, you will dispose this money within 48 hours. Yes, that's honorable family by Jabia Mila. If you really care, you will make sure this money is disbursed within 48 hours. CBN governor, Michael, oh, 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 Olaye me, sorry, I'm making sorry for missing your name. If you really care, you will force CBN to disburse this money immediately to us. Ken Wakama, if you really care, you will make sure that this disbursement happens in the next 48 hours. Do you feel so much? But if you really care, you will make sure that in the first 48 hours, this money is disbursed to us. Managers of banks in this country, commercial banks, if you people really care, in the next 48 hours, you will come together and make sure this money is disbursed to us in the next 48 hours. But what you are doing is you are becoming heartless, mindless, wicked to the masses. Upon all what Mr. President is saying, allow the poor masses to breathe. You people are not allowing us to breathe. How long will you keep processing money when you have the financial technology to do so? This is not 18 something. This is a 20th century modern technology and financial technology. This money can be disbursed. So why are we having this kind of, what is wrong? It is time for all of you to stop the sharing of money. If it is the money that is a problem, stop it. You can fix it. There's no CBN can calculate all that money in the shortest possible time and get these things done. They have the technology to do that. Why do we want to use manual method to, 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 to decide formula? What is this? 
And for, for goodness sake, we know UAS money, part of it is ready for that disbursement. The one that was set aside for disbursement is ready. I don't care what anybody in UAS is talking about. They don't know anything in you. Government doesn't meet them. Government doesn't talk to these people in U.S. that are saying there's no money. The U.S. money we know that was set aside that for this this book is the one we published on paper on the 30th of September 2023. So we know what we are talking about. And that is the money we want Mr. President to go ahead and give an order for this money to be disbursed. We are tired that we are living in this country. None of these people is buying fuel from their own pockets. If not for logistics money we've given them. Enough is enough. They don't buy Gary in the way. So in fact, everything is sponsored. All the bank managers, they enjoy these benefits. So, right honorable Femi Bajabiyami, if you really care, Bajabiyami, if you really care, the CBN governor, Dr. Mike, if you really care, uh, uh, Ken Lakama, apostle, if you really care, Teofilo is a boy, apostle, if you really care, commercial bank managers, if you really care, you disburse this money within 48 hours, whoops. You put your acts together and make sure this money comes out. I'm only making you under feel the pulse of the masses through my voice. You've punished us. You have not cared. You don't bother what people go through. People are dying in hospital over small disease they can take care of, but they cannot pay bills. And people are comfortable watching us die, die in penury, as if you're inflicting on us purposely. What a mischief. That is how it is interpreted. For you to see fellow Nigerians die, it is mischief. It's wickedness to us that you're doing. It is lack of conscience, lack of heart, lack of mind. It is heartlessness. It is wickedness to the masses of this country. That you see us die and you don't care. You keep shifting from this week to next week, from next week to another week. January, will soon, you're still doing it. If you really care, within 48 hours, this month, you will release it. Nigerians don't fear you because you're a public servant saving us and you're supposed to do your job. And we believe the time is too, you've given us, that's, you've taken too much of time. If we have human resources, financial, financial uh, technology, we have uh, or what you call space and time. You even have breath. God has given you people breath to breathe, and yet you cannot disburse money. If you people really care, Nigerians won't go through what they're going through right now. Even after Mr. President said that you should allow us to breathe. We see find out that you people don't want us to breathe in this country. But we say enough is enough. If after 48 hours we don't, we will put it on national daily. So that these people have consistently, right, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amelia, the masses are the first to write you when you resume office as chief of staff. Masses of this country wrote you in grant community and told you to assist. So you have knowledge and you're involved in it. And up till now, with all your power. If you really care, right, Honorable, you'll do something about this thing in the next 48 hours. Central Bank Governor, Dr. Mike, if you really care, you will sit up and do something about this. What does it take you to give an order to all the commercial banks to disburse that money? What does it take you to come up with a formula that can do this job? It doesn't take anything. This is your area already. If you don't know it, is it us that will know what to do? We are doing our own calling and saying, please help. Do what you need to do. Ken Makama, if you really care, you will go ahead and make sure that this was made in under 48 hours. The same thing with your philosophy, boy. If you people really care, you will make sure this money is lost in 48 hours. The bank money, you people are just enjoying at the top level of management. Don't care where we, you don't give a damn what we are going through in this country. If any of you really care, 48 hours is too much. But after that 48 hours, we'll come out publicly and put your pictures on national dailies and publish that you are the enemies of masses you are the ones wicked to us after the, there is money there is grant yet you refuse to come together to make sure there's disbursement within the shortest possible time after being delayed for the whole of last year and yet this is a new year we must live our life you don't care it is sad that we could have this money we have the grant we have the human resources, we have the financial technology, we have the time and space, and we have the breath God has given us, and then this money cannot be disbursed in Nigeria. What a sorry state of things.
what a sorry state of a nation. You hear people say, Japa, 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 and you want to tell doctors to stay. What would they stay here and do in this kind of a bad a state of a country? This is wickedness to Nigerians. This is wickedness to Nigeria just because you don't buy fuel from your own pocket. Is it that you're being given, you're using logistics money from the masses, or you're doing, enjoying government money, or you're enjoying money from the banks? Michael Jackson said they don't really care. And that is the truth. But if you really care, in the next 48 hours, Right Honorable uh, Bajabiamina, Dr. Michael of Central Bank, Ken Wakama, country director of UAG. Tiofili Seboye, country director of Tioba Global Foundation. And the bank managers of commercial banks. If you people really love Nigerians and cared, you will make sure this money is disbursed under 48 hours. With all the financial technology we have in the 21st century, you people are doing things that can't be explained in heaven and on earth. This thing you people are doing cannot be explained in heaven and on earth that Nigeria has this kind of resources and yet this money cannot be disbursed to Nigerians. Mr. President said you people should allow us to breathe. Allow Nigerians to breathe. The fuel cost is too high. The cost of food is too high. Cost of transportation is too high. Cost of communication is too high. Cost of everything is getting high. Cost of medicine to drink is high. You people enjoy to love see us die just because some of you have medical insurances. You have medical outfits in your companies, in the banks that take care of your health. And in government, you can fly out abroad at any time. They can refer you outside to go and continue your medical treatment. And then you care less about how we live or die. You don't bother if we breathe. It's time to act. 48 hours. Even in that 48 hours, if you don't do, we call God to be witness of those that don't care about us. Thank you very much. I'd like to end at this point. I'll leave the floor for those that want to make comments. But at the end of the day, what I want us to do is to raise money and then make a newspaper publication after 48 hours if there's no disbursement because there's no excuse i say what is going on can't be explained in heaven and on earth there is no explanation spiritually or physically this thing can't be explained there is no scientific lab in the whole world that can explain this situation in nigeria right now under this grand situation if there was no money i would say everybody go and rest but there is money there is grants it's available it's so close to being disbursed yet it is lingering the gods must be crazy. Something is wrong. I call you. Let's join hands and get this in the last newspaper publication. I gave the largest amount of money. The last protest, I gave the largest amount of money. All these things, I see masses stand up for your right. Don't be stupid. You can't give me 53,000 for something I know very well will not cover in the last moves or the protest I made. You can't pay lip service to these things. Last newspaper publication, so I did. I published the figures. I contributed more than everybody gave for that newspaper publication. This one, some of you come and say, I, I got, got two million. Two million from where? Where did you give the two million? When I published on paper, I mean on, 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 on website, what I gave myself. It's just that in this country, you're not supposed to talk about police clearance that they collect money for. But I pay more for police clearance. Let me say it. Because the state of this nation is getting crazy. I pay more for police clearance than all of you together have contributed for that for that police for us to stage a protest. Just because we wanted to facilitate something and make sure that there is disbursement. So when people hear people come and say the mirror is saying this, these people don't understand what you're doing. Bring out money if you need result. Let's go and publish it. Like we published last time, we're going to publish again. Otherwise, forget it. Go and sleep. If you think these people that don't buy this from their money will give you anything, go and sleep. They won't do it. I end my case here. Thank you very much, Sekesh. All right, sir. Uh, Mr.